how to create a prefix list in Shortel. First thing we want to do if you're adding new trunks to a new location is you want to go to localcallingguide.com. Okay, once you go to localcallingguide.com on the right hand side here, you click on local call finder. Once you have your local calling guide, local call finder, what you want to do is you want to enter the area code and the NNX of the billing number of the site. Okay, and then put again the same thing in for to and from. Now, if you don't know, just find another business on that street or next door and add that in in lieu of the new phone number at the site. Click submit. What it's going to do is it's going to bring up the rate center and all the information. So you click on the rate center. In the middle of the page here, you're going to see something that says see all local prefixes. Okay, I'm going to click on see all local prefixes. And it's going to bring up all the local prefix lists. Now, this is great information, doesn't do you much good. So what you want to do is you want to actually select from the first number all the way to the bottom. We'll just use Regina here. Copy it. And then I'm going to open up an Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to open a blank spreadsheet. Okay. And then I'm going to paste it. Okay. Now again, this isn't doing us much good, so what I need to do is I need to convert this into a CSV file with the uh, area code and the NNX. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to put in, um, I'm going to write some Excel functions. What I like to use is the left function, so equals left. Okay, I'm going to select the text that I want, right? And then I'm going to say comma, give me three characters, hit enter, and it's going to give me that first digit. Now for the second one, I'm going to say equals mid and then I'm going to select the same cell a1 comma I wanted to start at five characters which is the two for 201 comma I want it three digits long paste it and there we go now what I can do is I can take this entire cell and I can drag it the length of the document okay so now we have all this information so what we want to do is we need to clean this up and we need to convert it to a CSV file so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this entire formula ridden cells. I'm going to copy them and I'm going to paste them right back on top of themselves as values. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to get out any formulas. Then I'm going to delete these cells that I'm not using. Okay, and I'll get rid of the first two rows. Delete. And now I have this as an Excel spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to Excel. I'm going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to say go to my desktop which will be desktop and I'm going to put it here and say Regina prefixes 306751 I'm going to say drop it down as a CSV file it could be DOS I think there's another version of the CSV file too comma separated yeah there CSV comma delimited I hit save okay yes you want to continue using that format so now I'm going to close this off we're not going to save it and now I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to drag over that CSV file which is going to be Regina prefixes see it's a CSV file now I open it up and this is what I get and now you can import this directly into your Shoreware uh, director using the uh, import tool and the browse tool. Um, and that's it.